We are gathered here united by God as a family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Peter and Paul. And today also we celebrate Pope's Day. We pray for the Pope in his papacy. Nothing can stop Paul and Peter to proclaim the gospel. And if there is anything stopping us to proclaim the gospel, let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul give us the noble and holy joy of this day, grant we pray that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm him. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put into prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison. But prayer by the church was fervently made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. 
The angel said to him, put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for itself, by itself. They emerged and made their way down the alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, Now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord deliver me from all my fears. The Lord deliver me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord deliver me from all my fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord deliver me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the camp, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord deliver me from all my fears. A reading from the second letter to Saint Paul, of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have completed, competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth, The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of the never world will not prevail against it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock 
I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are celebrating two great saints, Peter and Paul. And both of them are considered as the pillars of the church. Because through their missionary journeys and also through their proclamation of the gospel, people know Jesus. And if we see uh, Paul and uh, Peter, both of them are totally different. They have different personalities, they have different backgrounds, they have different level of education, and it is hardly uh, to find similarities between Paul and Peter. And it is not their similarities that make them go together and unite them, but there is something else. That one that unites them is the urgency to proclaim the gospel. And both of them are willing to allow Jesus to work through them. And it is beautiful for each one of us. Since the example of Peter's, uh, Peter and uh, Paul to us in giving us a good example to allow themselves, to allow Jesus to work through them, I think also we also should take their example. If we see the reality in our church, there are many differences. If we see or look at each other, are there among us who are similar? No. Even in a family, we are different. But if we realize that proclaiming the gospel is really urgent and we are uh, we allow Jesus to work through us I think that kind of vision and idea will help us to be together and work together last week we had the festival in our community and I saw Many different people helping us to make the festival happen. And I think all of them, not because they have similarities, but because there is an urgency to collaborate with God to do his mission, not only here, but also in another part of the world because the festival is always used to help our communities in different countries. So for uh, the celebration of the solemnity of St. Peter and St. Paul, let us ask the grace of God not to focus on our differences or on our similarities living together but to focus on the urgency to proclaim the gospel to proclaim the good news and to allow Jesus work through us so that Jesus is made present in our midst may God bless each one of us
Let us stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess when baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. For all members of the church, May the Holy Spirit be our guide in seeking to put the teachings of Jesus into practice each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For government leaders, may they be given the grace to lead with wisdom and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who struggle to make ends meet, may the Lord grant them strength and bring them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For this community of faith, may our belief in Jesus as our Savior bring us hope and joy as we share the good news with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in peace with Christ in heaven and with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations of the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition, thank you, book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased, Vi Driscoll, Conrad Grushevsky, Russ Chamberlain, Marlene Martel, and Joseph Paovich, Pe- Pe- for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayers, and we offer all our prayers to you on the altar, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration. And may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, it's in a different way gather together the one family of Christ and revolt together throughout the world. They share one mother's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb.
communion antiphon, Peter said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Praise oh, Sacrament.